democracy is in peril in every region of the world. Our report shows that for the 12th consecutive year, more countries are suffering a decline in their political rights and civil liberties than increases. We see countries that only 10 years ago seemed like they were going to be becoming strong democracies. Countries like Turkey, Poland, Hungary, Venezuela. These countries are backsliding. We see countries like China and Russia who are not only repressing their own people, but trying to undermine democracies beyond their borders. The global migration crisis, that's really causing a great deal of apprehension that is giving leeway to populist leaders and others to really exploit those fears to restrict liberty, to restrict political rights. The media is under huge pressure. We see a real erosion of the press. We see attacks on the press and journalists have been murdered around the world. Even strong democracies have seen democratic practice and institutions weakening. We saw a concerted effort by Russians to interfere with the 2016 presidential election. We have been quite concerned about the large number of lies and misstatements that have been made by the president and documented by independent fact checkers. There's also been corruption, the mixing of business and public interests. These would be things that we would look at in other countries and we are noting them in the United States. It's time for the world to wake up to this challenge. Not just the president, not just the Congress, but for people in the business community, for people in the press, for people on college campuses to speak out on behalf of democracy. We're not alone in this struggle. The quest for human freedom is a universal phenomenon. Success in one country is vitally dependent on the success in another country. We're not gonna be fully protected until the entire world is free. These values are not just values that are nice to have. They are essential to prosperity, and security and freedom.